I'm going to do a sketchbook tour of one of my favorite sketchbooks. Book. This is actually a handmade sketchbook that I bought off of Etsy. I'll put a link in the description. Um, it's one of my favorite sketchbooks that I have ever had, and it's not cheap, so I don't, um, I can't buy them very often. But um, every once or twice a year, I will buy myself a sketchbook like this. And there's several people on Etsy who make them. And also I've tried making my own. So I'll do a sketchbook tour with a couple of sketchbooks that I have made and I'm getting better at it. So um, there's some tutorials on YouTube. I highly recommend trying your own. The best thing about making a handmade sketchbook is that you can choose the paper you put in it. And so I find that the paper that you can buy loose or in pads is better than any sketchbook that I have ever been able to purchase, um, like retail. So in uh, some of these pages, I actually went with a single hue. Uh, you can see that I was on a yellow kick here. I might have been doing uh, Hue Vember, which is an art challenge. I also will uh, put stamps on my pages and sometimes I'll put the color palette along the edges and I label my images. If I am drawing something specific, I'll write a little paragraph about what I'm drawing. This was a day I went and saw a play, so I illustrated that. And I took this picture of this animal, um, these animals when I went, um, out one day. So sometimes I'll take my own photography or I'll find animals on the internet. You can put salt uh, in watercolor on your page, on a damp page, and that's what adds that really nice background. You can see I have that here on my hibiscus. And if I make a mistake in my sketchbook, I will cover the page with um, gouache. So here is a acrylic gouache that I covered this sketchbook fail. <laughs> I don't remember what was on that page, but I covered it over and then I painted a fish there. So here we're going back uh, to purple pages and a mermaid, illustrating a book for a friend and I'm practicing my mermaids. And I do a travel blog. So here are some travel tips I was practicing and I take my sketchbook with me when I travel. And I think I had lost my palette of watercolors, so I had bought a child's watercolor palette. Um, blind contour drawing is something I throw into my sketchbook a lot. And I also use my sketchbook for notes when I, uh, in this case, it was a wine class I went to. Here's more blind contour drawing. Um, and just some more daily activities. This was a nightclub I went to. You can see I really couldn't see in the dark, but that's okay. Uh, some pictures from London. Please like and subscribe and leave comments. I'd love to hear what you want to see next.